Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take this SSD at this old desktop here and we're going to install Windows 11 if you believe it or not. I have this 240 gig OWC SSD. I have my boot up ball USB with multi boot from Yummy and we are going to go ahead and uh, boot this desktop into windows 11 and we're going to run windows 11 on it, if you can believe that so stay back stay tuned and uh watch the video it's going to be uh interesting to say the least So this process went on for about 22 minutes. I went ahead and cut it down quite a bit. But I figured if, um, you might want to watch this install process. So I went ahead and uh, included it in here. You can skip along if you want. But I uh, just want to show that I am installing Windows 11 on this. And what it looks like. Because uh, let's just say it was a, a long process. Uh, this video probably took about 2 hours to complete. When installing everything. When normally you can do that within an hour. So quite interesting to say the least.
we are updating Windows on here. <laughs> CPU has just been maxed out for the last 23 minutes. Um, but everything's installing, and then we'll go through and do a final performance review of how this thing uh, runs. But yeah, that's what we're setting at right now. All right, so with it being installed, there is quite a bit of background activity still. I'm gonna see up here in a second that our CPU is still kind of in high numbers there of utilization between 70, 60, and 90 percent. Um, I guess it's dropping around 50 percent, but keep in mind this is while we still have stuff running in the background, um, like Teams and uh, OneDrive and all that stuff. We're gonna go ahead and nuke that in the next section of this video. So uh, next one we're going to do, we're going to be showing how to remove those programs. Alright, so this is the Apple list I went through uninstalled. So Edge, OneDrive, and then the rest of them you can read there. Um, I like to use iOpit Uninstaller to do this, um, to get rid of all the files. It just works the best for me. So we're going to go through and get these uninstalled, and then we're going to do a restart install. Uh, a browser of some sort and then we are going to see how it goes all right and for full disclosure with testing here i have disabled uh, windows updates to uninstall the cortana um microsoft teams all kinds of the stuff that gets pre-installed with windows 11 so with it stripped here you can see it's performing load times are still kind of sluggish but it's running through um video playback um will be shown here in a minute but i'm just doing a little quick browser test here um we're going to go into a google search and then from there we're going to go ahead and um check uh a news website and then we're gonna go back into YouTube and do some YouTube playback.
does it work? Yes, does it run great? No. Um, but uh, we proved a point that this is 15 year old hardware. Uh, the basics, uh, main processing of it. Um, it does work. It's not great, but you can get by with it. I would not recommend it for daily use, but if you need something just quick, simple, whatever, you can use it. Windows 11 does run on this computer. So anyway, this was a fun little video I made. Sorry it went on forever. Um, here's like I don't, you know, make videos go on forever, but this one kind of did. So anyway, take care. Thanks for watching. And, uh, Maybe we'll see you in the next one. Bye.